but there's something I want to ask you about because I, when I feel, when I talk to you, when I read your stuff, when I see your posts on social media, one thing that, you know, like this is like, I, no, no matter what the pedagogy, your leadership style, any of this stuff, like I'm sure people have criticized you for elements in your lifetime, right? I don't think anyone could ever criticize you that you don't believe in kids and believe in their abilities or believe in their abilities to flourish. Do you think that matters? Like, you know, like how much does, well, I know you know it matters. How much does that actually matter in the development of a kid? Just that belief that you have in them. It's, it's a game changer. It is the great equalizer. When people talk about equity today, mm -hmm. I think the idea is that every child, you know, my, my motto is every child deserves at least one person to be crazy about them. Yep. Um, but I also believe that, that the children must know that we have, when, we, when they know that we have the belief that they're intelligent, that they can be successful, that they're capable, it, it, it gives them this feeling that they're able, that they, that they, that that. Uh, intelligence crosses all racial lines, mm -hmm. all religious lines, all, all, all social lines, economic lines. That it, even, even if that child has had some adult in the past who doubted them every day, whether because of implicit or explicit bias, mm -hmm. the fact that an adult believes in them gives them the power. They, and I hear people, when you hear people talk about these stories all the time, how they had this one person who believed right. in them so much that they started believing that they could do it. Like they started believing, yeah, I, I, I can go to school. I can be successful. Yeah. I, 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 I can get a job. I, I can start my own company. Um, so I, I believe that the most important thing that we can do for kids is let kids know that we loved you before we ever met you. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you do or say, it's not going to change the way I feel about you. And for some children, they don't hear that often that people love and care about them. And oftentimes when they hear it, it'll be from some adult in some schoolhouse, you know, somewhere. So it's, um, I'll never get accused of that. I might get accused of loving them too much. My teachers yep. say, principal, oh, you always want to give them everything, that, <laughs> you know, and they know I, I just, I just, and they know I, I, I love them. And I'm just so thankful for the teachers I work with who support me all the Saturday schools and the summers and all the things that we do. And I take care of my teachers too, because I know they give so much of themselves. So we must take care of teachers. But my first book was I choose to stay. Mm -hmm. And that's a choice I made. And the kids actually came up with that, with that title because um, I turned down a big raise, you know, uh, when I was offered to leave the school and they told me, thanks for choosing to stay. But you know what they also said to me though, George, that I don't, that I didn't mm -hmm. think about that. We choose to be here as well. Yeah. That we that that we have children, their families, they can be anywhere, but they choose to be in our presence. I posted on Twitter the other day a poem often about, you know, I ain't got a pencil. All the things, you know, this kid is talking about, you know, getting his sister right. dressed for school, no heat, no parent, and 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 gets to school, gets him a warm breakfast, and gets to class, and then the teacher fusses with him because he ain't got a pencil. Right. Right. And I, I was that teacher at one time. You know, if you don't yep. you're not ready for life. You're not ready for school. But I needed to understand that these children go through so much just to be in our presence. And this pandemic has uncovered a lot of that for folks mm -hmm. who were in denial that, yes, these children struggle often. And when they get to but they they want to be with us. So, yeah, that that's a five minute response to a five second question. Hey. But that that belief that that belief is so important for their resilience, their self-efficacy, their self-esteem, their self-confidence. When we improve all of those constructs for children, then we're building them to, to deal with any failure, any struggle in life. Because we can't change, we can't alter that. They will struggle. They they will have to overcome obstacles and barriers. But when but when but when, when when failure is normative resilience becomes second nature. And that's what believing in kids does.